Hi everyone, Chris here from New Beginnings in Chatham. I'm going to show you a very quick recipe today. Uh, the Chatham members, I'm sure will remember the pickled onions that I made. They were a big hit. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have all your ingredients ready. Have your onions all sliced up. Now I used a, what's called a mandolin. It's one of these guys. I'm sure you know what that is. Uh, with the slice um, applicator. So have those all ready. Have all your ingredients. Sugar, salt, apple cider vinegar. Now if you don't have apple cider vinegar, that's okay. You can use regular vinegar. And two cups of hot water. Now, what you're going to do is add your uh, sugar, two tablespoons of sugar, three teaspoons of salt, into the hot water. I'm just going to grab a spoon here. And then stir that so that it all dissolves. Okay, and then add your cup, one cup of apple cider vinegar. Okay, the other thing that you're going to need is a mason jar. You can use a large one or two smaller ones, it doesn't matter. This really does last for a very long time in your fridge. So what you're going to do is take your onions and just stuff them in the jar. Okay, try to get as many in there as you want or as little. And remember that when you get down to the bottom of the jar and... All the, all the onions are gone, don't throw the juice away. You can keep it and just keep adding onions to it. If it seems a bit diluted, you can always add a little bit more vinegar, sugar, or salt. Okay, almost done here. You can loosely fit it, you can stuff it, it's, it's your call, whatever you, would, whatever you like. Okay. Let's grab them all in here. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to add the liquid to it. Okay. And you want to make sure, just so you'll, I always stick my spoon in there just to kind of get the air bubbles out. Perfect. You want to make sure it is completely covered, that the the onions are completely covered with the liquid. Put the jar lid on. Put them in your fridge. Now it says you can eat them within an hour, but I always like to give it a couple days. Um, and the reason why you use red onions is so that they turn out like this. So they look, they're red, and plus they're a little bit uh, milder than your uh, white, just plain white or yellow onions. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, it's a really simple recipe. Anyone can do it. And I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned next week for another quick and simple recipe. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. Stay safe and stay healthy.